Hi, I'm Dr. Shilpa. Today we'll discuss about the success uh, rate of IVF in India and also across uh, globally. So every couple who want to go through any kind of assisted reproductive technologies like IUI, IVF or even simple ovulation induction come with the hope that they will conceive and uh, they are very very um, hopeful and also sometimes uh, scared to even like you know go through the procedure because of the failure. So many a times we come across couples who have had multiple failures and uh, they come to us asking like what is the success rate of IUI or even IVF. So today we will be discussing about IVF only and uh, many times we see that there are uh, advertisements and there are uh, uh, media uh, I think uh, sponsored uh, ads which show that the IVF has success rate of 80%, 90% or some clinics claim that they can give 100% if you do two cycles with them, three cycles with them. So I think the important thing here to understand is uh, IVF, yes, I mean it is a great uh, uh, invention of the recent times in gynecology where mul millions of couples have been benefited with uh, IVF but at the same time uh, it has its own limitations so I can't tell you that uh, IVF will be 100% successful to be realistic across the globe and also in India the success rate of IVF is roughly about 35% so it can range anywhere between 30% to 40% depending on the clinic depending on the patient uh, profile and depending on the cause of infertility depends on uh, the injections utilized the lab conditions the quality of the embryos the post uh, IVF the care all those things play a role in uh, uh, the success rate of IVF so among this the most important thing that we should understand uh, here is the age of the woman plays a very important role when it comes to the success rate of IVF so as the woman grows older the success rate goes down and the second thing is uh, how good the embryology or the lab in the IVF center is that uh, kind of adds 5 to uh, five to 10 percent to your success rate uh, and the reasons why the IVF is done whether the IVF is done for tubal uh, uh, factor where the fallopian tubes are blocked or whether there is unexplained infertility or whether there is mild uh, semen parameter abnormality in such cases the success rate is going to be slightly better than when we do it for low ovarian reserve or uh, patients who have had multiple uh, surgeries on the ovaries for endometriosis or uh, patient is older about like say 37 years of age and in these kind of situations the obviously uh, the success rate is going to be uh, less and in male factor if the semen parameters are severely abnormal and if the uh, sample is taken directly from the testes then too i think uh, the success rate that the couple can expect is slightly low so this success again you know i think uh, we should be uh, more realistic in explaining to the patients and uh, to make the patient understand as to why it is so because the success depends on the quality of the oocytes, the quality of the sperms, quality of the embryo and the condition in which this embryo is uh, grown in the laboratory and how the implantation process happens whether the uterus has enough uh, capacity to implant that embryo. So when we discuss about uh, the equality uh, there is no symptom which can tell us that the equality is going to be low but at the same time yes age uh, being a little more like more than 37 years or uh, people who have uh, crossed 40 years of age uh, will have low quality eggs which will reduce the uh, the success rate of IVF and if the uh, patient has had multiple pelvic surgeries multiple myomectomies multiple uh, uh, say like removal of the endometriotic cyst from the pelvis or uh, she has had uh, uh, cystectomies for other reasons like serous cystadenoma or if there is only one ovary where there is not enough eggs so in all such situations definitely the ovary is uh, going to produce less number of oocytes and also the quality of the oocytes also can be uh, compromised so in such situations, uh, I think uh, before going ahead with the IVF, we should counsel the couple as to what to expect in their case and how things can uh, uh, pan out for them during this procedure. So knowingly getting into the procedure of IVF is extremely important both for the clinician and also for the couples because they are kind of prepared and they, uh, they know what to expect 
rather than having a surprise when the results come after the embryo transfer after 14 days when they come to know that the result is negative then they will be heartbroken they would have put in so much of their uh, uh, savings and uh, securities into this thing because the cost of ivf as we all know is slightly uh, more than uh, what uh, an average middle class uh, indian couple can afford so then it becomes slightly Uh, better for the patients if they are prepared to organize themselves as to how to move forward so the success rate again like you know i think it also depends from center to center uh, centers who have been uh, in this field for many years and also who have trained embryologists and who have the best of the uh, medications that they are using and their stimulation protocols all this also slightly adds to the success rate though not 100% the success remains between 30 to 40% but it will be slightly higher say about 5% when we take all this into consideration so the expertise of the fertility expert or fertility specialist or the clinician also adds a value to uh, this uh, success rate so uh, cumulative uh, live birth rate what we call it as like the take home baby rate wherein uh, the pregnancy ends up into a healthy baby i think that is roughly around 35% all across the globe because there will be many couples who miscarry even after uh, successful pregnancy so that also we need to consider when we tell the success rate of ivf so this is about uh, dealing with uh, the positives and negatives of ivf and what to expect in terms of success i hope uh, uh, you have at least uh, gotten a few po- learning points from this thank you